friends, it's Shinner here. So today we're going to make a website together. It's about 25% of my final project grade. It is due tonight at midnight and guess who haven't started yet? It is now 11.54 a.m. and I just want to show you guys my process coding with ADHD and dyslexia, just how I set up and how I make sure that I finish on time instead of going into like that ADHD spiral where like I don't do anything, I like watch five Netflix shows and then doesn't get anything done. So I think I'm like close to that point, but you guys will keep me accountable and I'm also hoping that um, maybe just seeing how I code this website and how like I'm getting through this assignment will help you in the future also understand how to set up your coding assignments and your coding final projects and figure out how to do it if you have ADHD or dyslexia or not and if you're coming here because you want to like learn how to actually code a website in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript this is probably not the best video for you but I can also talk a little bit about what exactly I'm doing just to show you um like the process but so this is more like a vlog style just showing you my process as I finish this assignment and kind of talk through a little bit of the tech tips that I used um as an update to my last ADHD and dyslexia coding video as well um and yeah let's just get started so this is my current setup I already started a basic website using an html and css page so the html is what the content of the page is and so for example if I um change something here if I change the heading and say hi, you can be able to say, see that um, on here. It says hi now. And what the CSS page does is that I can change the actual colors and such of the file. So then if I change um, the background color of this to something less gross, it can be like this. And then now it is red on red, which... I do have two monitors. I used to say that my favorite coding environment is Visual Studio Code, but I found out that students can get IntelliJ for free. So now it is IntelliJ because I can get the font even larger and it does the same autocorrect and stuff. Um, and then here you can also immediately see everything because it's HTML and CSS and I just have everything on this in a GitHub. So then when I save it and push it to the GitHub, it actually ups updates on a website, which is super, super cool. And for me to even get motivation, um, like I mentioned in my old video, I have to write down a list of to do's. So here I wrote down a list of to do's for what I want to do. So for my website, I have to first figure out how to set up all of the style and JavaScript that I want to set up my website. So making sure that all the colors match, making sure that all of the things that I want to be able to click actually clicks and scrolls and have all of the little text touch ups. And secondly, I will be adding the actual content for my assignment. So that was what I will be doing next. And finally, I will be doing final touch ups. So hopefully with this agenda and maybe doing 30 minutes in chunks, I will be able to finish everything. Yeah, and as you can probably see at this point, I did change some of what I was doing from the last video. Um, but I think if this is just like an iterative process. What works for me may not work for you. Um, what doesn't what works for you may not work for me, but I just want to show you guys that there are multiple multiple ways of doing this. And especially as someone who is neurodivergent, the way that I do it might not be the way that you've seen or been told um, to do it. So I just want to give you the option that how I'm currently doing it, even though it's probably not the best way for you or even the best way for me. Um, is another thing you can try to just like add to your toolbox of how to get stuff done. So yeah. Um, I did this outro so many times at this point because I know it's because I don't want to actually code. So I will be a good example and actually go code. So bye bye. <laughs> okay, it is now 1228 and I was able to get my setup to kind of look like what I had in my Figma file. So I've gotten really into Figma recently and because it's really nice, you don't have to write really code and you can just like figure out what you want your website to look like without figuring out how to use code and I really love Figma and so I'd made this a while back to like figure out what I want to build and I was able to get it pretty close yay It is 1.48 now. I just got back from taking a one hour break. Well, to be fair, I was actually doing check-ins for a class that I was seeing for like half of that time. Um, but the other half, oh, I have a slack F. Anyways, but the other half, I was totally just like 
ignoring my responsibilities because this one thing that I really want my thing to be able to to do I couldn't figure out the JavaScript what's going on is that I really want to be able to have it click and show different things and I set it up weirdly so I just couldn't figure out how to do it it's literally not necessary for my project but now I just really want to figure out how to do it I spent way too long on it still couldn't figure it out got frustrated I, I know I could have just you know not added that and still have it be completely fine for my project but then I was like oh, I have to figure this out but then I couldn't figure it out and then I was like well I guess I'll just not do anything instead so I did that for a little bit did my CS check-ins but I think I know how to do it now so we are going to go back and figure it out okay and I'm telling myself if I don't figure this out in the next 30 minutes I will just scrap this from my project it is literally not necessary it's just a cool function that I want to, to be able to have it is literally not necessary for my project and I will not do it if I can't figure it out in 30 minutes. Okay. I have officially figured this out, which means that I am done with the JavaScript part of my assignment as well. And yes, I did probably write way too much JavaScript for something that can be done in like four lines, but at least it works and look at how nice it looks. <laughs> so pro life hack. If you want anything to look nice, add transition to it in CSS so that whenever you click on something, it animates a little bit. See that? See that beautiful? Oh, so nice. So nice. So professional. So pretty. Yeah, so once I was done with the coding portion of my project, I basically lost all motivation to continue coding. So I walked around, got boba with a friend, and then joined some friends in our um, engineering research center to all work on assignments together because I knew at this point, because I've been just like working by myself in my room for so long, I would no longer have any motivation. So what my friends and I sometimes do is that we, um, we just all get together and tell each other that we can't distract each other for like the next hour or until everyone finishes their assignments and then we play Tetris. Um, so that kind of just went on for a few hours while I finished the rest of my assignment. Um, just did all the research that I was supposed to have done ages ago and just put it into my website. And here is the finished example. I'm really proud of it. Yes, uh, thank you so much for reaching to the end of this video. Um, I am filming this before I finish the assignment because I don't want to start the assignment and I am I totally am going into that ADHD spiral. Um, but hopefully I did finish and turning my assignment on time. Um, but yes, thank you so much for coming along for the journey. If I finish, you guys are probably the reason why because I want to show everyone that I can finish the assi assignment and like be a good example or whatever not or whatnot. So yes, thank you for helping me finish my assignment and I will see you all next time. Bye bye, love.